Hello Makers! Welcome back to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today I have an Ain't It A8. The day has finally arrived. So yeah, I'm gonna unbox this thing. Stick around! Welcome back, Makers! So as you probably know, recently I ordered an Ain't It A8 from AliExpress, and that was about a month and a half ago, two months ago I think, and in return they sent me a Trunk CP 802 MA. That obviously wasn't exactly what I expected, although later I found out that it's kind of a normal thing lately where you order an Ain't It and get a Trunk C. Following that incident, Gearbest got in touch with me and asked me if I would like an original Ainit A8 to review on the channel. Obviously, I couldn't say no. At some point, I was thinking this thing is a unicorn and it doesn't really exist. But lo and behold, I have a box right here. So let's get opening it, shall we? So the box isn't actually that big, so I'm quite surprised because usually... I'm sure you can see that. Thermistor connectors are just sticking out, so I have a feeling that I'm going to need to do a bit of soldering on that. Power cable. We have the bed frame, which is aluminum. We have some tools. We have some more tools. More tools can never have enough tools we have some cables which are labeled the thermistor and the heat bed so yeah now I'm guessing two of these will need to go into the thermistor USB card well USB card reader and also a micro SD of 8 gigabytes. We have some parts. Acrylic parts. Lots of acrylic parts. And more acrylic parts. We have some sample PLA. More cables. Everything is actually labeled which is quite cool i'm very happy with that that everything is properly labeled more points for a net more end stops or cables and end stop switches once again
we have a 40 millimeter fan which I'm guessing is for the extruder because then you have the heat block for the extruder the fan shroud and a couple of screws in there belts and another USB cable I say another because We have the linear rods. We have some lead screws. There are two versions of lead screws here. One of them has wide threading. The other one has narrow threading. So it'll be interesting to know which is which or which one goes where. More acrylic pieces. This is interesting. This part actually has a serial number on it. So it'll be interesting to know if they actually have quality control on this based on the serial number. Get rid of those. It's going to be so much fun peeling these. We have some cable ties and cable management. We have the extruder. It's already pre-assembled. Uh, almost. <laughs> but I can see this is not a big issue. I just need to tighten this and it should be fine. It's Quite weird though, there's no sort of cooling block except for this part here, this aluminium part. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Next up we have I'm guessing the part cooling fan. Ooh, nice. These are actually injection molded parts. These well except for the fan shroud. The X-axis mounts are actually injection molded. They're not printed, which is a very, very, very welcome surprise. Kudos to Nanet once again. And we have the power supply. So first thing we're going to do before you guys comment is check the switch. And the switch is already on 220 volts. Well, this came from China, so strictly speaking, they use 220 volts there. So I'm guessing that's how it should be. It is a 12 volt, 20 amp power supply. I'll be testing that before I put it together during the live stream, just in case. And last but not least, we have the stepper motors. These are NEMA 7T motors, once again, all labeled, the Z-axis motor, X-axis, Y-axis, and the other Z-axis motor. And that is it. Finally, the ANET A8 is among us. One thing I want to point out, during the opening of the box, I mentioned that the heat bed thermistor might need soldering. It does not. I, it, I was a bit confused because the end tips of the thermistor wire are kind of hanging out, but they're actually already soldered there. So all I need to do is just trim those off for safety. But other than that, it doesn't need soldering, so please don't fret. I'm actually really excited to have this printer. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm very excited to build it and try it out because I was about to give up on it after the Aliexpress issue I had. I was very hesitant to reorder it, but I'm very thankful to Gearbest for having, having reached out to me and offered me the printer for review. They were also very kind enough to offer me a coupon code for you guys, for my viewers. And if you want this printer, it's currently at $185 on Gearbest, but if you put the coupon code on checkout, you will get a 10% discount. And I think it comes to about $165, which is absolutely worth it. So please check it out. I have no idea how long the coupon code will be available for. So um, make sure you hurry if you're interested in this printer. 
I will be doing a live build of this printer on Saturday, so I hope you guys can join me. I will make sure to test out the PSU first so I do not trip the electricity again during a live stream. That is it for me guys, thank you very much for watching, as always like, comment, subscribe, share, and in the meantime, happy making guys!